The U.S. Marine Corps has been in some of the bloodiest battles in U.S. history. They are a very respected fighting force, and one reason for this is that they can do a lot of different things. They can fight in all three types of wars: land, sea, and air. And for this, they need badass helicopters to be able to handle different situations. Some helicopters need to be able to hold their own in the thick of the battle. These usually have strong armor, lots of weapons, and to be very flexible and easy to move around. The Marines fight anywhere and whenever they are needed, so they need a lot of different kinds of helicopters that can do the same thing. Let's take a look at the ten best helicopters used by them. At number one, the AH-1W Super Cobra. After more than three decades of service. The Super Cobra was retired in 2020. It's been employed in everything from the U.S. invasion of Grenada to its much more extensive role in the Iran-Iraq War and Lebanese Civil War. The Bell AH-1 Cobra is the first real attack helicopter from the U.S. manufacturer Bell Helicopter. When it was delivered in the mid 1960s, it was the first pure attack helicopter of the world. Previously, there were only armed transport helicopters. The Super Cobra features a two-person crew. It is able to reach a maximum speed of 175 miles per hour and can be armed with many armaments, including cannons, rockets, and anti-aircraft missiles. At number two, the CH-53E Super Stallion. Developed from the CH-53C Stallion, the Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion is a heavy-lift helicopter that has been in service for over 30 years. They were dispatched during the Somalian Civil War, which also saw them involved in the Gulf War, and were likewise involved in the 2003 war in Iraq. The powerful Super Stallion is capable of lifting heavy military equipment, yet still compact enough to fit on board an amphibious warfare ship, where it can take off carrying 16 tons of cargo and deliver it 50 miles away before returning to the base. There are about 152 CH-53E Sea Stallion in service with the U.S. Marines. At number three, the Bell AH-1Z Viper. The Viper is a helicopter that takes the place of the Super Cobra. It was given the all clear to go in, into full production in 2010, and the U.S. Marine Corps then said it was ready for battle. It was okay for the U.S. to sell Vipers to Pakistan in 2015. They're not the only ones who want to buy Vipers. Poland, the Czech Republic, Romania, Morocco, and Bahrain are just a few that have said that they want or have already bought them. The Viper has a battle range of 125 miles, a cruising speed of 180 miles per hour. At number four, the Bell UH-1 Iroquois, more famously known as the Huey. This is the most well-known helicopter of the Vietnam War, seeing extensive combat during the Eastern Offensive in 1972. More than 7,000 UH-1s were deployed in Vietnam, of which 3,305 were downed, with more than approximately 2,800 fatalities. It has been manufactured for militaries all over the world, seeing action in such diverse actions as the Falkland War. Between Argentina and Britain to Japan, which deployed them to Pakistan for disaster aid and used two Hueys for surveying the coast of the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. At number five, the Bell AH-1G Cobra. There was a period of time when this helicopter was at the core of the U.S. military, having an active role in Vietnam. It remains an important helicopter for the U.S. military today. And has been a key part of the U.S. MC arsenal since the 1990s. The U.S. Marine Corps isn't the only one who operates these helicopters. Israel has also used them, with engagements on their part, including some of their wars with Lebanon. And in 2015, they leased some retired Cobras to Jordan to help combat Islamic State. Cobras can support as much as 9,500 pounds of armament. Has an operational range of 310 miles and obtain a maximum speed of 171 miles per hour. Number six, the VH-3DC King. The VH-3DC King is also known by the call sign Marine One. This is a helicopter that carries the President of the United States. As a security measure, 
Marine One always flies in a group with identical helicopters, sometimes as many as five. One helicopter carries the president, while the others serve as decoys. Britain, Brazil, Japan, and several other countries have kept using it 50 years after its introduction. In addition to its marine service, Sea King has also been used by the US Navy, which used it for rescue missions during the Vietnam War and has also been used for disaster relief purposes. At number 7, the VH-60N White Hawk. This is the second US Marine Corps helicopter that can serve as Marine One. The White Hawk is otherwise used by the US Navy, debuting in 1985. After having served in the Navy for decades, the last active duty, White Hawks returned in 2015 aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt to enter storage. The White Hawk has also proven to be popular on the international market as well, with South Korea, Tunisia, and many other nations either acquiring them or have considered doing so. On the other hand, Mexico has recently cancelled an order for White Hawks to reduce government spending. At number 8, the CH-53K King Stallion. The King Stallion, a helicopter that will likely be used by the US Marine Corps for many years to come, was first used by the service in 2018. They're not the only ones interested. Israel and Japan also showed interest in buying it after seeing it do well at the Berlin Air Show. But Germany doesn't seem to be going through with it and officially cancelled their order for 45 to 60 helicopters after rethinking them and finding they were too expensive. With its three General Electric T408 turboshaft engines, the King Stallion can reach a top speed of 200 miles per hour and carry up to 30 people and 35,000 pounds of cargo. It is 99 feet long and has a crew of four. At number 9, the V-22 Osprey. The Osprey, one of the most visible transport helicopters in the US Marine Corps current fleet, was born in the aftermath of Operation Eagle Claw, President Carter's unsuccessful operation during the Iranian hostage crisis in 1980. The failure of US helicopters highlighted the need for replacements. Nonetheless, the construction of this helicopter was extraordinarily lengthy. It took until 1989 for its first test flight, and it took until 2007 for it to become operational. Since then, the Osprey has been extensively deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Osprey has a top speed of 316 miles per hour, can carry 24 personnel, and can lift up to 20,000 pounds. And that, guys, was the 9 best US Marine Corps helicopters. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more interesting videos from the Buzz. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.